so excited to let you guys know that we are expecting. We've got puppies on the way and I just cannot wait. So I wanted to introduce you guys to Mommy and Daddy, um, the Northern Inuit, Mommy and Daddy, and also um, to introduce you our breeder and why we chose her and that she's super awesome. Okay, so we have Natiri, and uh, this is Natiri, and she is what's called a gray Northern Inuit, and she's absolutely beautiful, and we just think that she is just so gorgeous and then we also have daddy which is Odin and he is just a total stud he's a little bit has a little bit more red tint to him and so um, but he is super 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 studly and that's basically his job is that he is a stud and so super cool and so um, Natiri and Odin went on a little date and a couple of dates then got married and then had puppies because that's kind of how it should go but we're not gonna hear we're not gonna talk about that because that's not this kind of a <laughs> video <laughs> okay so um, the breeder that we chose uh, her name is Susan Meldrum of Alska Northern Inuits and it's Alska, A-L-S-K-A. So it's kind of like Alaska without that second A, so A-L-S-K-A. -A. Anyway, Alska, uh, Northern Inuits, and let me tell you, she is absolutely amazing. She loves her dogs like crazy. I am always seeing all her posts on Facebook and her social media, and she's always, we're going out for this walk, and we're going out here and this, and so she really is wonderful. She's answered all my questions and has been amazing and has just made our puppy uh, journey and breeder selection so much fun and just she is just as much excited as I am and so I'm super 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 excited to be able to get one of her puppies and so um, the thing I had to learn when I was doing my research in regards to not only the Northern Inuit but with any really breeder is that uh, you definitely want a breeder that loves their dogs because breeders are very, very, very selective on who their puppies go to. So they definitely do like um, screenings and some of them do background checks and some of them you have to give like your IRS statements and uh, your social security. No, I'm just kidding. Not that hardcore, but some of them actually do do background checks, which I think is absolutely fabulous because if I was a breeder, which maybe in the future should be <gasps> another adventure. Okay. I got to like totally work on my husband on that one. That won't be for a couple years because we don't even have a puppy yet. But anyway, so, um, but if I was a breeder, I definitely would want to see where my puppies are going, make sure that they're taken care of. And so I wanted to just make sure to let Susan know that we want a puppy like crazy, but we, we are ready for a puppy. That's another thing is that people could want one, but you need to make sure that you're ready for one. And so, um, I believe all my trips to TJ Maxx Marshall's, um, and home goods oh and also amazon have been very successful in preparing us for this puppy i first got in contact with susan in um october early october and i was saying that we're, we're now ready because i had already did my year and a half of research and i'm like, we're now ready to kind of move forward and i didn't know if we could maybe get on your list or how that process was or Sorry, there's something in my eye. Okay, I messaged her on Facebook and then she like messaged me back. And now, okay, she is a UK uh, established breeder, which is United Kingdom, you know, that area. And so um, she is international. And so one of our concerns was in fact the travel and things like that. So I'll get to that in a second. But, um, and so I messaged her on Facebook then she messaged me back. Now we're like eight hours difference in time so I think it was like you know nighttime her time and it was morning our time and so we're talking back and forth and she's like can I call you and I was like yes and so like right away she just called me and we must have talked for like 45 minutes just giggling and laughing and talking all things puppy and I was asking her a ton of questions she's like oh yes Amanda in her like beautiful British voice why can't we have that okay no actually because it's 1776 but we're not gonna get there well we do actually have an accent but you know we're just real you know forget it America America we're awesome anyway and so and so um but I talked with her and she is so awesome and I just Love her. She raises the puppies in her own home, and so they're in home, and they get used to just living life in there because it's all about socialization and all that great stuff. 
And so she really is wonderful. And so um, I did tell her, I did say, now I know you know the first thing about international inquiries is the fact of the travel because I cannot fly there. Believe me, if I could, I'd I'd make sure like we'd have a seat and I'd be going to London to go pick up my puppy. But uh, that's not gonna happen. So she totally explained the process to me and she said that she is 110% confident. Now she has been doing this for a long time, you guys. This isn't just some random breeder. Like she is on the North Inuit Society and she is like one of like the main um, like go people and she really is wonderful and she, I just, I am so like excited that I get to have one of her puppies. Like I'm super, super stoked about it. And so, but she did, she totally like eased all my concerns in regards to the flight. Cause I was like, I don't know if I could do that to a puppy. But, and so she told me, she said, you know, Amanda, we have been flying our puppies out for quite some time and we've never really had a problem. She's, she said that she's 110% confident in uh, the airline and the people and the people that work with her dogs in regards to like the airline people and um, She goes so I have total trust in them and she even has shipped um, You know a couple puppies out this way and so um, That was really cool and so that really made me feel so much more secure in that and that we've chosen the right breeder and then I even asked her, like can can we be on your list? And she's like, oh, darling, you're already on my list. And so I was like, oh my gosh, she's so awesome. And so she had put us on the list. And so now the puppies are due, da, 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 November 17th. That's like next week. But I'm just making this video now because I wanted to make sure we were having puppies. And so, um, but yeah, so we may have like a full on puppy update by next week. Oh my God. So she really is awesome. If you guys want to get more information in regards to Susan Meldrum of Alska Northern Inuits. You can find her on Facebook. You can go to the NI Society, uh, the the actual UK one, because she is a UK breeder, uh, nisociety.com, and um, just go under like, you know, actual breeders, like their breeder list, the registered breeders, and then uh, in there is her Alska, and she's so wonderful, and she's been doing this for a long time, and I'm just super excited, super, super excited. So I talked with Susan today, and she told me that she's gonna have to start um, possibly tomorrow, kind of checking on a teary and checking her temperature because she's totally prego. Check out these pics, you guys. Look at that belly. Oh my gosh, little puppies in there. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. She told me that she's gonna start taking her temperature, um, possibly tomorrow and just kind of being on like labor alert. And so we may have puppies soon. Oh my gosh, that could be so exciting. Ah, uh, okay, so even though the puppies are possibly born, next week i think the 17th i don't really know what actually what today's date is but i do know that there's seven fridays until christmas so i don't know how i know that but i do but i don't know what today's date is so so the puppies sorry everybody whatever so the puppies are going to be born around november 17th so i think that's next week yeah i think so Anyway, so we may, next week's video may be in fact puppy updates of actual puppies born. Oh my God, could you imagine you guys? Ah, okay, okay, I'm super excited. Calm down, Amanda, cool it, cool it. So anyway, so yeah, so we are on a uh, labor alert. <laughs> Exciting. Oh, something else that's super cool about Susan. Okay, so, okay. So some of you know that Game of Thrones um, season one and season two did in fact have Northern Inuits uh, played the roles as the wolves in the actual show. So in the beginnings, like season one with the puppies that they find the dire wolf puppies, those are in fact Northern Inuit puppies because they're super adorable, right? Okay, and so, you know, in season two, they get a little older and like lady and, you know, and so um, those are in fact Northern Inuit dogs and the breed and they're just so awesome and we just love them. But even super way cooler about this is that when I talked with Susan, she was like, oh, you know, one of our puppies is actually on Game of Thrones. And I went, what? She goes, yeah. She sent me, she sent me this exact picture. Boom. So ladies and gentlemen, Ghost. Ghost is one of Susan's puppies. The like, the most popular of the Dire Wolves is Ghost. Like we all love Ghost. He's so cool. And so I was like way excited. My husband just kind of looked at me and we were like, this is awesome because we are 
Game of Thrones fans, but even though we do fast forward a lot, um, but we do, <laughs> we do like to watch because of the story and the wolves. Anyway, and so that is super awesome. How cool is it that we are actually getting a dire wolf puppy from House Stark? Because ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly what's happening. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, so that is super cool. So Susan, I love you, love you, girl. Love you, love you, love you. This just has been super awesome to be able to uh, share with you all my excitement about um, our puppies and the puppy adventures and all that great stuff. And so if you want um, more information in regards to the Northern Inuit breed, check out the websites of the Northern Inuit Society. There is an America one, America. And then there is also the UK one, which which is uh, the nisociety.com. And um, all the registered breeders are on there. Everybody's really, really great. Really great. If you want more information, there's there's more information too on Facebook. Like get involved in the Facebook groups, the Northern Inuit Society Facebook group. Um, a ton of, ton of, there's like 4,000 followers in there. And so it's really great to just kind of see everybody's puppies, see how they do it. But also a lot of the breeders that yeah, I'm pretty sure all of them that are registered are also within the group so they're easy access to be able to contact and so everybody is really great and I just I'm super excited about becoming a part of the NI pack and family pack and just this community and um, you know, we're, we're really excited about this so Stay tuned. We may have puppy videos next week and I'm so excited. So everybody, thank you so much This is Amanda the knitwit mom signing out. Thank you so much. Love your pack. Love your pups. Love yourself. Bye, everybody.